Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of The Faux Show. Today is Friday, December 13th. My name is Angela. And my name is Chris. And as most of you know, The Faux Show is not a real show. It is a social experience because I don't look at you. I look at the chat room, which I have here on my iPad. Chat room? Well, I've got that chat room full screen on my screen. And it's over there on a monitor where we can see ourselves. Mm. It's on this monitor, too, but... Actually, Ange, <laughs> let me interrupt if I could. It is also in the best lower third on the internet currently built on our hopes and dreams for Steam <laughs> OS. Oh my gosh. As empowered by the folks visiting over at jblive.tv. You know what's great is that that's not technically interrupting you or just finishing because that's exactly what I was going to say. Straight down to the Steam OS. I am a finisher. And I'll tell you something else. <laughs> we are currently in the middle of Steam OS Watch 2013, the December Friday 13th edition. Uh, as we were watching the Twitter feeds, nothing yet. We're checking out on the Valve website constantly, looking for download links. If something happens, we'll break in with our first impressions. But yep. we do have a pretty good episode lined up today. We do. Household tips. Well, yes. <laughs> but this yep. episode yes. has been brought to you by... Oh, oh, oh really? Tell me, Anshu. Not a, Well, okay. Not, not a commercial... Sp- microphone <laughs> not a commercial sponsor but our very own raku dave oh yes in fact he gave us a yeah. very de- generous and a elite very, donation yeah a very i was gonna say that a very elite donation i'm like, ahead of you girl what's up yeah. bring it well so if you go to jupiterbroadcast.com forward slash donate i'm or, like a ninja <laughs> or just go to our website and then click the donate button uh you get this screen and uh when you you can donate in all these different random ways but here's where's Rack? Did he post anything? Right he... there, he did. We should give him to give a. Do he has a? Does he have a website there? We should give him a link. Uh, just yeah, rackudave.ch. Nice. But um, he said dot dot dot. That should help. Yes, there's no dot uh dot in that thirteen thirty seven. That is a very elite donation. Thanks for everything you do. That is really cool. So one thousand three hundred and thirty seven dollars from Raku Dave, which is insane. I mean. <laughs> we are we Thank are extremely said. grateful. Yeah. Uh, very. And actually, it literally was probably the moment we went from, I think maybe we're just going to have to go ahead and do this condo thing. Mm-hmm. And we're going to try to figure out how to build our own studio out of a townhouse that we have. And, you know, we don't necessarily have the long-term aspect of that figured out. Yeah. But <laughs> generous, generous contributions. And we've had a very successful uh, Teespring campaign with the shirt. Yep. It doesn't solve we'll our problem, it It's but it has solved our immediate short-term problem. Mm-hmm. So... I don't know. And I would just like to point out that last week when Raku Dave found out about the Amazon thing, I told him, he said, oh, I'm going to have to donate. And I, I PM'd him and I said, you know, don't donate. You've already donated and you donate your time because he does um, some uh, some different Apps. development stuff. Yeah. Um, and I said, you know, we're going to be doing a, a shirt thing. So, yeah, yeah. And that's what we want to do. We don't necessarily want to ask for direct donations. We want you guys to feel like you got something, yeah. you know, and not just be like, hey, we need money. So, um, so... Despite that, yeah, he bought a shirt and which is so awesome. <laughs> donated, and uh, so we're hopeful that you know, um, moving forward, we'll figure out a way to uh, solve our short-term problem. But I think you know, long-term, we've got a working uh, formula here, and uh, people are loving our shows, and I'm I'm only seeing growth. So I think we're going to yeah. be able to move ahead with the condo stuff, with the studio, converting that into a full-time production studio for us, which would hopefully also then eventually entail bringing on. Um, an editor to help with the post-production stuff. So every show we do here at the network, there's anywhere between two to four hours of post-production that I do after we go off air. And hopefully soon, someday, we'll be able to transition that over to somebody else. Mm -hmm. But right now, we were kind of considering, do we want to bring them into our house and have them come in and edit in our garage while, you know, we're inside? That's just awkward. And then we also want to expand. One of the other things we want to do in 2014 is potentially bring in guests, in studio Mm -hmm. guests and things like that. Yep. So we've been, there's a lot of back and forth going and some very generous contributions from folks like Raku Dave have really sort of changed the direction of the conversation. Uh, so, Scooky Sprite says, we do get something. Yes, you get the same great content that we're awesome for. <laughs> or better. But, but um, you know, a little bit of swag is really awesome. And, and it's a great way we announced the new logo. And we'll get to that in a second. We should go over some household tips first. Yeah. <laughs> last week had a comment about, or, yeah, last week's show is too far, too long to get into the actual show We'd content. We'd just like to so, warm up with you guys. Yeah. Okay, Let's, so. Hey, hold on a second. Baby. <laughs> I love you. I want to spend okay, my time. Okay, no. I want to take my People time. People don't on... want to see that. <laughs> People don't want to see that. All right, what do you got? Or hear that. Okay, so on uh, glamorous.co.uk, hopefully uh, by referencing them, we won't get pulled down. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, the simplest way to slice a bunch of cherry tomatoes is to, is to sandwich them between two plastic lids and run a knife through all of them at once. 
That actually makes a lot of sense. It is amazing because, you know, like in uh, when you lay on nails, because you do that all the time. I, I, every <laughs> night. <laughs> the even distribution of pressure. I call it my pressure, life. The, <laughs> the even distribution of pressure makes it so that not one, in one single needle hurts, per se. Everybody knows this answer. Anyway, so, no, okay, but... The, Shut up! Okay. The point is that the tomatoes don't get smashed, okay? <laughs> wow, that was a long way around for this. <laughs> I think I might be good at that. Oh, jeez. Yeah, in general. Oh, jeez. So, All right, what do you got next? Um, The next thing I have, marshmallows. Throw a couple of those bad boys in with your brown sugar. They will um keep your brown sugar soft. Um, Which is kind of cool. I've I've actually heard of a couple other things. Uh, that also are like that, but I can't remember at the moment. So that's always really cool. Um, this is really neat. Uh, I really like getting custom keys, but oh, I hope I get the right face. Yes, my face. Um, whenever I've gone to the hardware store with my key, like for this house, they're like, yeah, we can't make those. We don't have those in custom. And and actually they did force make one out of a, the wrong skeleton I don't know if they're called that. Um, and uh, and it, like, gets stuck in the door every time I use it. So that that's awesome. But anyway, so you can use um, nail polish. And I wonder if it would chip off. But it's kind of a good short-term solution, especially for a, a key ring that you don't use too often. So um, let's see. This is brilliant. Install a regular coat rack low down on the wall to store your shoes. It's it's perfect for like winter time when you're or well or just when it rains when your shoes are wet and um or it's snowy or whatever. It's uh yeah, and you can just get matching ones, one on the bottom, one on the top, one for your coat, one for your shoes. And Q5 Sys does that shoe thing. How many uh do you have one that's like five or six hooks like this one here Q5? Uh sister gave, yeah, sister gave you that idea. Good. Right Murphy? So now the thing with some of these uh, tips is that some of them are kind of jank, you know? Some of them are going to be like ha uh, half-assed, for lack of a better word. You're going to do it and it's going to just not be as good as the real thing. But this one is as good as the real thing. Um, you're not tripping over the shoes. They're not, you know, blocking the door, which happens to us all the time. Uh, I think, I, I think I'm going to do it for the kids and I might paint like half of it one color for Abby and one, half of it one color for Dylan. So um, it should be pretty good. Yep, eight hook thing. Um, and you have three of them for shoes. Yeah, you can totally just stack them. Oh, one for hats, one for jackets, one for shoes. Brilliant. That is awesome. So um, let's see. Oh, this is perfect. Cereal canisters. You can use... For a trash can in the car. Oh, okay. And I totally need something like that. And if yeah, it like do. if it falls over a, a lot, then you can try just uh, putting rocks in the bottom of it or sand or something. Huh. And that would. Uh, I guess yeah, a few rocks in there would do it. Yep. <sighs> Man, I'm watching now. Some sort of repo has just showed up on the Steam OS download <laughs> over here. Yeah. Repo.steamstatic.com. There's something called SysRestore.zip and Steam OS Installer. I'm going to download that right now. I don't even know what Are that does. Are you sure it's even a legit site? No. It starts with repo. Well, yeah, that, that's what makes me think it's legit. Oh. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Steam okay. info. Hold on, Ann. Hold on. It's happening. Oh, my gosh, it's happening. Is it? It's happening. Are you sure? No. Okay. Well, so the next thing, um, and yeah, okay, there we go. Um, you can deodorize sponges in the microwave, soak in water spiked with white vinegar or lemon juice, and put on, put on full power for one minute. Use tongs to remove because it'll be hot. I do not condone this. And the reason why, sponges are disgusting. And if you put them in the microwave and you zap them, you might zap them long enough to kill the, the crap growing in it, but likely you're not. You're just going to uh, make, like, as it cools down, it's going to start growing stuff like crazy. So I wouldn't be surprised if you did this, if it would, um, like, be green by, like, two days later. Gross. All right. <laughs> it is legit, it looks like. And uh, I'm downloading right now. It's 960 megabytes. And I'm getting it 2.2 megabytes a second. Well... You are running Linux, so there is a lesser chance of it being. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to get malware. Yeah. But yeah, that's exciting though. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. What else you got? So, um, use a magnetic strip to store bobby pins on the inside of a cupboard. 
or anywhere else. And in fact, I'm actually thinking about this. You know they make paperclip holders for your desk sure. that are magnetic? Yeah. I could totally use one of those for my bobby pins. Yeah. I use them for my hair. No. Uh, oh, oh, oh. What? I think I found one. Yeah, there's one. Yeah, yeah. There's one in my hair. Yeah. You see these twisties? You're proud of your lack of bobby pins. I, I am. I, there's I, The only bobby pins I have are to keep the um, the messy bun strands that are just hanging down all messy. <laughs> hey <-o. laughs> Um. Anyway, I remove the bobby pins that actually hold the rows here uh, when I do the ponytail. Okay. But anyway, I want somewhere to put my bobby pins. <laughs> I can store them in a Tic Tac dispenser. Oh, hey, there you go. Yeah, we which should do would this be for, annoying. We should do this for Abby, for all her like bows and oh, stuff. Oh, I know. I need just to, getting all over I the house. I seriously need to figure out a solution for yeah. her. Yeah. yeah it's, um, it's, right now, she keeps them on her arm. All right. And this is this is totally what I would do. I'd buy the really small garbage can bags uh, and line my cat's cat box with them and then put the litter in. And what I used was crystals. And with crystals, it doesn't clump. But um, Wasn't there like something about them that made them bad, though? No. No, oh. they totally like they totally kept the smell down. I had a cat box in my room when I lived with my grandma, and it was fine. My download died. I know that sounds really gross. Uh, <laughs> why? Because I think it's, they're getting hammered right oh, now. Oh, okay. They're well, try hammered. again. I will. I will. Anyway, but that that really helps because then you don't end up having to like wash out the the cat box. Okay. Uh, this one, I'm not really. I'm not going to condone this one. Using a post note when drilling to catch the dust. Oh yeah, I've because, heard this. I saw okay, this. I okay, saw it okay, on but, TV, so it must be true. Okay. This, the adhesive on the back of a post-it note was made by accident when they were trying to make something else that was completely not glue. And I can't remember what it was. But anyway. Yeah, but think about not, our child. No, so no. But listen, it's not that... What? <laughs> made by accident. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, so think about how non-adhesive post-its are. You're going to go to grab it and it's going to flick off <laughs> and the dust is going to go everywhere. So, you know... <laughs> Nothing. Oh. <laughs> um, I just... It just doesn't seem like a good solution. But it's better than being on the floor. That's, yeah. that's for sure. All right. Um, I, well, okay. So then what are you downing for? Yeah, exactly. It's better than putting it on the floor like an animal. All right. This like some kind of animal. This one, tackiest thing ever. Don't do this. Oh, so that's a cork board. Yeah. Right? It's a cork board with um, you brilliant. Know, tacks. It's brilliant. No, holding jewelry. It, it's ugly as hell. So is it getting all over the countertop hey, and over the I damn have, floor? I have a nice jewelry box with pictures on the front of it that I change out every... Well, right now it's been like th That's four true. months. That's true. Well, yeah. But, um, yeah, you know, it's... Uh, all right, what do you got next? Um, I also don't recommend this. Repurpose an old picture frame as a serving tray. Hmm. Why? If you have to repurpose a picture frame... Just put a picture in it. Well, and, and this one, too, you notice how they've put in, like, like some sort of marble insert to make it look like it's more well, of a tray? it's a paper. Oh, is it paper? But they're, they're having to stuff it. They're stuffing the frame. They're stuffing the frame. And then they're painting the frame. That's a lot of I work. I know. I know. For a frame that could just hold a picture. Now, this is a good idea. I know. And I actually wanted to do this the other day with um, vanilla extract. So this is boil orange peel and cloves to get rid of the unpleasant smells in the in kitchen. The kitchen. I think boiling oranges would be, I think it would be a great smell. And we totally have cloves. Cloves are delicious. All right. I'm re-downloading now. This is going to take 14 minutes. SteamOS installer. Now I'm getting, I was getting two megs a second before. Now I'm only getting 800 kilobytes a second. 18 minutes. This is killing me, Ange. It's killing me. I got a machine sitting right over there, though, that wants its hard drive violated with SteamOS. <laughs> violated. Yeah. Majo says use a vacuum underneath the drill. Brilliant. Yeah. Do that. That sounds loud. I mean, you got drills going and vacuums. Well. Just get it all out. Your face. Ooh. Easy on clothes. Small smell. I, I think you meant smell. The smell lingers for a long time. Mm -hmm. It's fine with me. It's better than the smell of Chris last in the house. My son Dylan <laughs> is learning the joys of smell humor. Mm. So if he has a little flatulence, as sometimes. Oh no, a, no 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 wait no tell tell them about the, your rest. The, where were you, Jimmy's? <laughs> oh, I told you about this. When he Over text, when, yeah. when we're at the restaurant and mm -hmm. he passed, no, oh, no, no. Oh, you tell him because yeah. Okay, okay. So, so they're at the restaurant. I wasn't even there, but Dylan learned to wave down waitresses, which he thought was just fantastic. Yeah. So he, you know, and and he totally does the eyebrow thing. <laughs> yeah, he goes like this. Um, <laughs> which I didn't do it like that, right? Yeah. And, and he <laughs> and like I look over at him and he'd be doing this. And he'd be flagging down the weight. <laughs> like Dylan, stop it! Stop flagging down the weight staff. So, so then she comes over, and you know what he says. I farted. <laughs> and I'm just like, 
that just came out of his mouth. Yep. I, uh, and that's my boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now he's now he tries to get it he on has you. Potty humor too. When oh. He, when he when he. Oh yeah. No. I, yeah. I watched him try to do that. The yeah. Other he day. butt rushes me. Yeah. <laughs> comes at me with his butt. And he comes at me from the and he and he tries to get it on me because I don't know what he he's trying to like paint me with it or something. <laughs> it's just awful. <laughs> oh my god! It's awful. It's awful. Yeah, uh, mm. but it's also very funny. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I think I think Abby's holding the uh, the title for for biggest though between the two of them. Yeah. She can make <clears throat> a stool vibrate. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. All right, my Steam OS download proud died. proud of it. Look at this. It died again. I'm restarting it. This is now the third attempt to download <laughs> Steam OS. Okay. Um, file your clothes vertically in drawers so you can see your clothes at a glance. So the thing with this is those are kids' clothes. You can't file adult clothes vertically. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe Next. you need to dip a deeper drawer. No. This is also... Um, it says, fill an old box with skewers to make an all-purpose nice knife block. Oh, that's what we should do with the 500 skewers we just have sitting around. And, yeah, and the random box of made of wood. Perfectly sh- wood-shaped box. I, I know. Well, and this one even looks angular like a knife holder would be. It's just, no. Oh, I want to drive over there and punch this person. Okay. But this one I want to know about. Hang onions in cut-up tights or old stockings to make them last for months. No. I'm not saying this is a bad idea, but I'm going to tell you exactly who does this. Your mom? No. Oh. <laughs> Husbands who have divorced their wives <laughs> and still have, like, you know, like some of their old stockings around. It's like, well, what am I going to do with this hag's old? <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. Maybe, maybe, maybe she dies. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, you got to do something. You got to do something with those old stuff. Anyway, okay, this is a great idea. Create a thrifty watering can by puncturing holes in the top of a used milk bottle. I'll take that one. Yeah, except we don't drink milk. <laughs> well, no, but they do. Yeah, so um, that is a pretty cool idea. It's also a great thing for kids. Did it fire? It died again. It died again. Died again. This is horrible. Who they? Somebody needs to get, Why aren't they torrenting okay, this? Okay, Q5 Sis says, my sister does that in her basement. Oh, does, does it creep? Oh, the onions. Does it creep you out, Q5, when you see it? It's kind of I don't know. Chat room says I should W get this bitch. I think I agree. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go the W get route. Yep. Everybody's saying W get. Um, okay, so great for whiskey bottles as well. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> for the the puncturing holes in the top. Yeah, I could dig it. All right. So use a paper plate to prevent splatters when using an electric whisk. I think that's brilliant. That's really smart. Yeah. That's this whole list is worth that one tip right there. <laughs> So if you use a hand mixer, before you stick your beaters into the mixer, yeah. poke them through a plate. Cover up, guys, before you stick your beaters into the mix. <laughs> All right. This is one thing that I need to do. hey yo. hey yo. Um, I have been buying a bunch of random muffin cups. <laughs> what? Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> liners, okay? Yeah. Whatever. Right. Uh, because I have kids and they like color, so... Um, I need a mason jar to put them all in. Sure. Right now, little known fact, my chocolate wine, chocolate wine. is kept behind a mason jar of bacon grease in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, we get to the bacon grease more often than we get to the chocolate wine. That's a fact. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. I ju- How many times do we have bacon today, Ange? Twice. <laughs> we made bacon twice today. <laughs> <laughs> we are bacon. Hey, there's breakfast and lunch, people. We're yep. not animals. Okay? And brunch. You know, we had breakfast for lunch, actually. So. Yeah. Um, all right, next. This is interesting. Remove pet hair from furniture and carpets with a squeegee. You don't have to go out and buy that... You think um, that would work, Ange? ...lint roller thingy that they advertise on As Seen TV. Do yes, you, I do, because it's rubber. And the rubber, you'd have to... Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I'd so, be worth it. That'd see. definitely be worth a shot, because that's always a problem. Yeah, using aluminum foil to make cleaning up um, paint in a paint tray. That's a really good idea. It's okay. Oh, really? The problem is foil tears really easily. Yeah. And the hardware stores... Foil? Well, the hardware stores sell plastic cl- clear liners that you can throw in those things. So, I just... I don't know. I don't agree with that one. Um, place a layer of wax paper on top of kitchen cupboards to prevent grease and dust from settling. Switch out every few months to keep them clean. That's a, you know what? Pretty good, too. I, I mean, think it is the stupidest thing ever. Wow. Do you know why? Who gets up there and says, oh, my God, you have so much grease and dust? Uh, better question. You, now you don't have to. Who doesn't? Because with this, you don't have to. Like, you just go, oh, time to change out the, sh- the, the thing. Yeah, which you have to do, like, every couple months. But why? 
There's no point. Well, after a few years, when- it might get, especially if you have like pets that shed a lot, maybe like some stuff settles down up there so? and it gets yucky. Unless if you, you saw, have a vent up there that's blowing that If you that saw dirt around, and stuff, you'd want to clean it up. You're just thinking no, that because you can't. it's for the top of it. It's not for the ceiling. Some people can see the top of their cupboards. Uh, well, okay, maybe Chase, because <laughs> he's so tall. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is great. And I wish I would have grabbed the link to show what happens when you try to put a toaster on its side and make a grilled cheese sandwich. Well, it would shoot out. Yeah, it shoots out. you got to have your plate ready to catch it. Yeah, either that or, or you know, don't have it aimed towards the floor or, or you know, off the counter. Otherwise, you're going to have tuna sandwich in your crotch. All right, let's see. What does the chocolate wine taste like? It tastes like Bailey's. Does what it does taste wine say? at all? No, it does not taste like wine at all. Kind of does. Um, or Nesquik with vodka. No, it is not harsh at all, and it's not like chocolate milk. Here we go, Ange. Is it big in the U.S.? I, it seems to be getting big. You got it? No. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, da- I'm downloading it right now. Um, <laughs> JoJo and me want to know. So there you go. There's your answers. Um, let's see. Majo says his grandma would do that with the wax paper. Can I, uh, can I take a second and just mention that uh, this is sort of like the last waning hours to grab the Jupiter Broadcasting Limited 2014 Edition shirt? Uh, teespring.com slash Jupiter 2014. We have reached 843 Woo-hoo! of our goal of 499. Two days, one hour left. Only time we're making the shirt. And by the way, we got the hoodies now. If you don't want a long sleeve shirt, you want a hoodie. There you go. <laughs> you want a hoodie. We got the tea. And if you're a lady. A woo! We oh, also got a lady. Go <laughs> I'm all like <laughs> looking big. Great, great. Yeah. <laughs> Let me look as big as possible. Oh, I spilled on myself. Or you spilled on me. Sorry. Jeez Louise. Did you spill on me? I don't know. It smells like chocolate wine. You've got you've got it like I know. It's Wait, on, I know. Jeez. No, it's probably you. No, I'm not dripping or any oh, I am dripping a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Um, so <laughs> the next thing. Um Ice cubes. If you are partying or whatever, who would party? And you have cloudy ice. It it's just it just means that your ice water or that your water came from a tap. But you can make clear ice if you boil the water before you freeze it. Oh. Yeah. Who the f- gives a crap about their ice like that? Well, I think it's cool. I think I think clear ice is a lot more appetizing than than the other ice. It helps that the clear ice is nice and square. <laughs> My ice is kind of like both clear it's, and not clear. It's cloudy. But well, it's clear around the edges where it's melting. But ours didn't come from a from a tap. It came from a fridge that has a filter. It can't, it can't, it's tap water. That's the point. It's tap water. I gotcha. It doesn't matter if it's filtered okay. or not. Oh, it's this is great. I know, right? Yeah, we love making, like, you take a pepper, you cut the top off, you strip out the membranes, and you get out all the seeds, and then you put, like, your favorite meat and bacon and some grilled onion in there, and you can put it, you put it in the oven. Apparently, with this, mm-hmm. this is great. I yep. put it on the barbecue, but you could totally throw these. We, oh, you could broil it. And you know what? We have a green pepper and a red pepper in the fridge right now. Really? Yeah. Well, so um, we should do that with the chicken. With the chicken. Yeah. We, yep. That's what we should. Because we do. don't have chicken stock. Um, yeah. So one of the things too that I would recommend is uh, just put a little olive oil on the top of the uh, of the pepper. And then when you uh-huh. put it in the oven, it won't burn. You can even put a little salt and pepper on that. So this is a large muffin tin to cook stuffed peppers in the oven. And I think that's absolutely brilliant. Yep. yep. I think that's a really good idea. All right. Um, okay. So apparently hanging a bundle of chalk in the closet helps keep everything fresh and dry because the chalk absorbs the moisture, mm. which is crazy. So mm-hmm. we have, um, what is the, what are the little beads called? Oh, like those water, like dehydration um, bead things. Yeah, yeah. it's called something. Yeah, it dry is. Dry the air? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's dry the air. Yep. Um, that's what we have in our closet. Because in our closet, what do we have? The loudest thing ever. It's a very loud firewall. A so very, it, very, very loud firewall. We because have our, a, our tech panel. Is that what it's called? I guess that's what they call it, yeah. I don't know. We're, we have 19 network jacks that we I'll, had installed in our... Er, can I tell the story? You're just, you're, you're killing me. Okay. So all the Cat 5 in our house comes into one patch panel in our master bedroom closet. So, of course, if you get telco gear, you kind of put it by the patch panel generally. Otherwise, it's a pain in the ass. So we have, because of production needs, pretty high-end switch, which is loud. It's a data center switch. It was very expensive when I got it. I got it from an employer of mine who gave it to me. It's like a $5,000 switch, and it's loud. Because they don't, they don't figure you're running in your house. They figure you're running in a rack so you don't care about the fan noise. In so, a rack. 
hey oh. So Ange's like, yeah, I'll live with that. That's fine. I can cope for a little while. And then I'm like, hey, Ange, turns out I need a really high-end <laughs> firewall, too. It's also a rack mount unit. And so now that's in our closet, in our bedroom closet. And it has one of those little teeny tiny fans yeah. that then is like, it's almost like in a seashell. It like It actually has like a little... A little chamber where it, it spins inside of, and it is so loud. It so, is. So, yeah. So, we, and, and, and then because it's in our clothing closet, we have to keep the door open or everything will overheat. Mm-hmm. And, um, and of course, the, then the moisture our from closet, the shower. No, yeah. Our closet is within our bathroom. And yeah, because yeah, it, yeah it's it's so stupid. But this we is, have a heated closet, is what we have. This is why we need, <laughs> this is why we need a studio. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I will be so thankful. Well, you're still going to have to have something up there. Something but, way yeah, smaller. Yeah, yep, yep. That's what she said. All right. So um, adding, adding half a teaspoon of baking soda to, to water um, when you're hard boiling eggs can make them peel really easily, hmm. which is really cool. Now, we use an egg head, and so I don't, I, don't think I, could, I don't think it's a good idea to add baking soda to that. But if we were boiling old style, I would totally try this. The egg head is a good tip, though. Yeah, but the egg head, uh, there's, there was some sort of issue. Recall, yeah, but yeah. maybe there's a new one now. I don't think so. Um, tie a sprig of eucalyptus, because I know you guys all have a random, yeah. a random a s- sprig of eucalyptus, uh, to your shower head. The steam will help infuse your bathroom with an invigorating fragrance. Bull crap. You know what else you could do? Crack a window. Uh, you can um, get Dr. Teal's. Epsom oh, salt. They have fun. a eucalyptus and spearmint one. Mm-hmm. Throw that in the bottom of your shower while you shower, and it'll smell really Put good. Put that in your shower, you jerk. Yeah. All right. So for all of you geeks that love bread and hate cords <laughs> or cables, here you go. Use your bread twisty square thing and put it on the plug to your cables. So you the have power. like you take like the cables. little yes yeah, so you label this one's monitor this yeah. one's power to my PC. This yeah. one's the modem. Modem. <laughs> it's a good, yeah. It's a you know. good, yeah. It's a good little system. I, I think it's good. If you do it at the time that you plug it in, you'll remember what it is. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yo, what it is, uh, let's see, uh, cooking spray in votive holders to prevent wax from sticking to sides. Who cares about that? Uh, WD-40 apparently can remove crayon marks from yeah, any right. surface. Sounds like it's going to stain the wall. I know. That's what I was thinking. Like, then you got to repaint, but then it's oil. <laughs> yeah. Know, like, um, okay. This... Looks like a genius idea, stupidest idea ever. Don't you think? I don't understand. Okay, so this is a... You need to explain for the audio folks. I know, I know I am. Okay. This is a pressure-mounted pole, like for showers or whatever, or um, temporary laundry or whatever, um, with hooks, S-hooks to it, and then you put your pans on it. And somebody has installed this in like an under-cupboard space, so you're going to have to bend over... And then you're going to have to try to get the oh, pot yeah, off be. of each S hook yeah. without banging into the other pots. Yeah, that would be a pain in the butt. Yeah, it's it's just going to be not yeah. even. Yeah, I agree. It's it's not a good idea, so don't do it. Okay, I won't, Ange. All right, uh, make a simple laundry bag using an old pillowcase and embroidery hoop. Hoop. Nobody's going to do that either. I know. Well, you know, some of these guys have a, a woman or a mom around, uh, or or a guy that likes to do embroidery, but that's racist. It's no. I just I covered my ass while you were saying while you're preparing you're so that. you're so sexist. No. Okay. So anyway, um, the thing is, who has a door that can ha- hold enough laundry like that? <laughs> you're the weight of that. All right. Uh, lint roller to clean the bottom of your handbag. Lint roller. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What does vinegar do? Uh, to rid the musty smell of old towels, wash. Using one cup of white vinegar on a hot cycle, then repeat with half a cup of bicarbonate of soda. Hmm. Uh, baking soda. <laughs> I didn't know it was called bicarbonate of soda. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. There's some garlic pressing with a fork. This is, Now we're getting to the bottom of the barrel here. Right. Um, toothpaste. You can use toothpaste on the back of a picture frame. Um, just like dab it on there and then put it against the wall and then you'll see where you need to do the... Do the okay, marks. that's easy. Yeah. It kind of stains the wall, though, you know? But you're going to put a hole in it anyways. Yeah. Um, let's see. This is the stupidest thing ever, too. <laughs> Repurpose an old CD spindle. Who has CDs anymore? I like this idea. To make a pretty small cake biscuit holder. So they've dazzled it up with, like, some sort of knob and put a ribbon around it and then lined the bottom of it with, a you know, a decorative piece of paper and then put some biscuits in it. It's hilarious. I, I think it's nice. 
It's hilarious. I think you could give it away as a gift. Um, let's see, more vinegar stuff, uh, salt stuff. Besides, it'd be for oh, cookies, not biscuits. This is really cool. Did you know that if you put ice cubes on indentations in your carpet made by furniture, it'll take the indent out? I usually just let time take the indent out, but no, I, I did not know but that. But that'll speed it up. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. Um, let me see. You're gonna ha- like if you're gonna have people over, and you don't want to pretend like you have just been moving everything around to make the place look nice. Right. Now the problem is they're gonna come over and be like, "Why is your carpet wet?" Yeah, yeah I know, right? Yeah, I just stepped over here and it's yeah. wet. Mm-hmm. All right, here's what's really cool. If you have wal- walnuts, you can use a walnut on damaged wooden furniture to cover up dings. I have heard this one, and I want to try it because we have some dings um, in the floor and the kitchen table that I'd like to mm. try it on. But I just got rid of your walnuts. Yeah, you sure they did. Went bad. Well, they went bad. Mm-hmm. You threw out my nuts. <laughs> All right. Let me see if there's a... Uh... All right. Steam OS just downloaded. Are you excited? Should did I, it? Should really? we see? It was successful? See? Let's take a look. So where did I download to? I think I just downloaded it to my home directory. I did like a, like a boss. All right. Do that. All right. I'm extracting it right now, Angela, so don't freak out. <clears throat> All right. Oh, I got to show this one. Okay. Freeze grapes to chill wine without uh, watering it down. So oh, instead yeah. of using ice cubes... Yeah. Do that. And that's, that's a really good idea. It is. And I, you know, if it didn't sound so weird to do chocolate and grapes, I would totally do that for my chocolate wine because I don't like it oh, watered down. What a down. pain in the butt, Valve. Jeez, Valve. Figure wow. out how to distribute it. Like, it looks like I need to burn all this to an ISO. Why didn't they just give me an ISO? Oh, then? maybe somebody in the lower third can do that for you. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is a disc. Yeah, so, so this is, they basically just gave me the contents of an ISO image. That's peculiar. Why would they do it like that? Look at this. How weird is that? Well, I don't know. Why not just give me an ISO, and then I could just burn that directly to a CD? Chat room. What's going on over here? And you got something to lift my spirits up, because that's a big I downer. I do. I got? do. Well, I want to sh- uh, just mention that the Jupiter Signal came out just a couple days ago. If you haven't signed up, you can go to bit.ly forward slash Jupiter Signal. And uh, in here, we've got the new sleek logo and the uh, image that shows the four different options for the shirt, as well as the prices. There is an audio signal. Yeah, that is. We recorded that the the night before the Jupiter signal went out. Mm-hmm. I just like an it's like an, a little audio podcast of the signal. Yep, and I think it was like what seventeen minutes long or something. It was shorter this time. Yeah, oh, okay. but it was it was good. No, it was okay. Last time was like a half hour, but this time it was like. Next week, um, we're doubling up on a couple shows. We're doubling up Coda Radio on Monday, Linux Unplugged, Unplugged on, on Tuesday. Tuesday, Tech Snap on Thursday. And is that it? Uh, I think that's it. I think that's it. I think we're just doing three double up on Unfilter three shows. Unfilter has supporter show only, right, for the next two weeks? Um, so our last episode of Unfilter is next week. Our last oh, regular okay. episode will be uh, this, the, uh, 18th. the 19th, I think. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. We do it on Wednesdays. Yeah, it'll be the 18th, the yeah. 25th, okay. and the 1st. The Got main it. show will be off, but we'll have a supporter show. Yep. Um, and then uh, we, uh, Jupiter Broadcasting, was listed the fourth best Linux OSS advocate slash evangelist, which is cool. Um BSD Now did a delicious ZFS episode. That, that you was catch. a good one. If you're in the lower third right now, you might be using our new Kiwi IRC web chat instead of Mibit. We talked a little bit about that. Yep. Mm-hmm. And uh, Plan B is still on hiatus. There is a RMS rap for Coder Radio that Chris did live. It's really humorous. Um, it was why, while Michael Dominic couldn't uh, connect yeah, or hear Skype, him. Yeah, yeah on Skype. Uh, I did that in Comic Sans. I, I just like to point Are that out. Are you trolling? Yeah, I was trolling a little bit. Jeez Louise, trolling. Ange. Um, And then... uh, Hold on. I'm compelled to click your face. I know, right? Yeah. (laughs) The second most clicked link other than the t-shirts was this picture. And I think because people wanted to get a closer look to see what my shirt said, probably. And this is where it sent them. So contact form. So today, I uh, posted uh, the larger version of that picture on the social sites. You can follow me at (laughs) Twitter. At Twitter.com? On Twitter. Yeah. Twitter.com slash... Angers, A N G E R Z, with a Z. Angers with yeah. a Z at the end. Angers with a Z. Yeah. Um. So and then let's see. I'm also on G Plus. Uh, let's see. Uh, what is it? Do you have a vanity URL yet? No, I don't. But I have a G Plus to forward slash Ange Fisher. Oh yeah. Don't G we put a link to it in the show notes? Yeah. We should. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is. All right, Andrew. Let me uh, dig in here to the uh, high production value uh, Jupiter. Wow. <laughs> It's a uh, mail sack. Yeah, we only this, pay. Yeah. yeah, well, we did not pay as much. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> yeah. we, this uh, was a half price. <laughs> yeah, it was, a, it was a holiday discount, and uh, boy, does it yeah. show. Yeah. Okay. Well, those production costs are just crazy. It's <laughs> just crazy. Oh, it's also on jupitercolony.com, says Rike. What is? Your G+. Plus. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. So, so do we have a huge sack this weekend? We, it's, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty decent sack. Okay, tell me about our sack, Ange. Yeah. 
All right. So first of all, we have the Ting winner. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So hold on. Hit your mic again. No, that no. way we just make it for three times in the oh, show. Oh, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Hey. All right. What do you okay. got? Okay. So uh, the winner, his name is Seth. And um, it's just so cool. It's just so. Now, I've, a little recap. So Ting sponsored the last few episodes of the Faux Show. And we four. were And we were giving away um, $300, $300 dollars of credit. Ting credits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So Sean won that? Yes, he did. So he wrote in, greetings, Angela and Chris. I had the very pleasant surprise of learning that I was the winner of the Faux Show Ting $300 service credit promo. My Motorola, Motorola XPRT was flaking out on me, so mm. I decided to take advantage of the $25 Faux Show offer to pick up um, a Chris Fisher recommended HTC One. Nice! It arrived yesterday wow. and is very nice so far. What an upgrade. Let me take this opportunity to thank you for introducing me to Ting. My wife and I love it. Also, in addition to regularly enjoying the faux show, I'm a big fan of Last, Linux Unplugged, TechSnap, and Coda Radio. To celebrate the unexpected windfall in mobile savings, I upped my support from the affiliate browser extension to a monthly Jupiter Broadcasting subscription. It was a bit overdue. My consumption of JB content now rivals my listening to NPR, so it made sense to support both through the subscription model. Thank you. I'm a heavy user of the JB Roku channel, so kudos and thanks to Jar for that. Keep up the great work. The excellent JB content is much appreciated. Cheers, Seth. You know, known as Spin Doctor. So there's some crap going down on YouTube right now that people may or may not be well, aware of. Well, that's in the mail sack in a minute. Oh, okay. Do you want to wait? Um, well, I was just going to say that okay. uh, as Amazon shuts us down and as YouTube has now been shutting down revenue sharing because of the new content ID system, which apparently we're going to talk about here in a second. Um, you know, that direct support like we got from Raku Dave and from Seth. Uh, that is, at the end of the day, what's going to make a difference, I think, for a lot of independent content networks. So thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, Ange, what is our next email? Okay. Matt M. writes, Hey, Ange and Chris. hey With YouTube's recent usage of their content ID system, Ooh. many respectable YouTube channels have had their content removed. Yeah. Many popular channels have given the middle finger to YouTube recently and decided to serve videos instead from uh, their personal pages. Good. Keeping that in mind, and with Faux Show and other JB shows using content in their videos, fair use or not, does this threaten the content of the show? I know that Scale Engine hosts the audio and video, and you can do without YouTube in the future, but yeah. I would admit that it would suck for JB to lose their YouTube audience. Yep. So what are your thoughts on YouTube's content ID? Is this the beginning of the end of the site? Well, so there is a really good... Nobody likes an answer when you say go read a book, but there's a book uh, called from Tim Wu called Master Switch, And it outlines how this has happened with every new major medium since the telegraph. He does a really good job of demonstrating how it happened with the telegraph, then the telephone system, then the radio broadcast system. You know, we don't appreciate this now. But back in the golden age of radio, kids would set up radio broadcast stations in their backyard, right? It was that open. It was considered the open medium that anyone could broadcast on, just like we talk about the Internet today. And then slowly over time corporations locked it down and then television came around and the same thing happened only not quite at the same scale but when cable tv hit it really happened all over again cable tv was hailed as this brand new era of information that would allow the common man to have a channel because there were so many options available and then slowly over time through copyright and conglomerations and corporations buying up uh, real estate on the air that all sort of consolidated down to big companies I'm not saying that's going to happen to the Internet, thankfully, because of the technical underpinnings of the Internet. That kind of is hard to do. But as we do begin to see a siloing of the Internet services we love, like Twitter, like Facebook, like Google, and like YouTube, as we silo, and Amazon, as we silo into these services, we transfer the inherent benefit of the Internet of being a distributed network of many lands interconnected together over wide links. We, 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 we just say, take that. We give that up, and we're handing it over to it, soloed control, where where one location now has all of that stuff consolidated, and they're able to do what they want. And so is this the beginning of the end? I think we've already been seeing that transition. I just think this is absolutely, once again, Google demonstrating how they don't really care about the end user or the content. They really just want those big deals. Just like we saw Google give us all the raw dog bone, so that way carriers could molest cell phones any way they want to get Android on the cellular networks, so that way they could compete with the iPhone. We are now seeing Google once again bend the consumer over and cowtail to the content creators, the big content creators, big media like the MPAA and the RIAA, and they're going to them and saying, hey, look, you know that copyright problem you got? 
Well, now we'll let all those dumbasses upload any content they want and you can monetize on them. But the part that really sucks is when Google does that, they take away the ability for companies like Jupiter Broadcasting to monetize the videos we've published. Now, we are on track to publishing almost 1,400 videos on YouTube. Now, you think about the amount of man hours and years of work that have gone into put 1,400 hour-long videos on YouTube. Think about that. Well, and now they capitalize on that. Your average was an hour and a half, right? It's just, well, yeah, but I'm, this show is usually about a half hour. So, I'm, you know, yeah. I, I, it is so infuriating to watch them do this, but it is absolutely to be expected. And it's why I, I highly encourage that if you are a content creator or if you want to own your own content and don't want somebody able to shut you down, you've got to work with companies like Scale Engine. Because companies like Scale Engine are offering a very competitive service that is absolutely right up there with the big dogs like Cashfly and all those all those big companies to distribute your content at reasonable prices with with honestly a management you can trust. And those are the kind of companies that uh, e either you find and partner with, and you're going to make it in this new internet economy, or you're going to get smashed into whatever they want you to do. And the people who are really hurting are like all the Let's Play creators, mm -hmm. the guys that make video games. Uh, of like Minecraft and stuff yeah. like that and then post it up there and now those are getting taken down Yeah, and the thing is is it's not just from here on out. It's they're retroactively taking down oh, that, that is oh, oh, so we have <laughs> we have videos that have been up on YouTube for years We they've been up there for years and they're now taking them down claiming they violate some sort of content yeah. ID now last week's episode of unfilter the first 20 seconds had two different companies claiming the Qatar sound music that I have direct license from Ronald Jenkins to use, and still, two different companies had that video pulled down. And Linux Unplugged had a claim against it. The week before that, Linux Unplugged had a claim against it. TechSnap had a claim against it for the feedback bump. It is getting completely oh out of gosh. hand. It's getting ridiculous. Yeah. It's unusable. And we have disputed the the Ronald Jenkins music almost every week. He even before, is also disputing it. Yeah, even before this uh, new content ID tagging system came out, we were we were getting flagged um, on filters specifically. It, it sucks because, so Apple has locked down audio podcasting into iTunes. If you want to be discovered in the audio space, you got to play the iTunes game. That's why sometimes we'll ask for comments and ratings in iTunes, not because we want to promote iTunes, because that's just how a lot of people find new uh, audio shows. That's beginning to change, but it's been like that for years. YouTube is the same for video content. That's why we put our stuff up on YouTube, because we know a lot of people find us that way. And it, it is it's sort of like when, when one company has all of the search results and has all of the videos and then decides they just want to bend over for the big companies, uh, guys like us, we're kind of left in the lurch. So That's how I feel. We should redo the intro um, and be like, uh, you're about to see 20 minutes of faux show and 10 minutes of YouTube rant. <laughs> we, you know, we should have just done the show on YouTube. We should have. Everybody else's. Why didn't we? I don't know. Do you well, want to yeah. stop? And <laughs> All right. I've said my piece. I'm done. Okay. Well, so <laughs> you can contact the Faux Show or any show or uh, any of us by going to jupiterbroadcast.com and uh, clicking on contact us. Mm -hmm, I think that's mm -hmm. what it's called. Or also, contact. add Andrews on Twitter. Yep. That'd be a good way yeah, to do it. Yeah, I just started in the last couple of weeks. Well, okay, so here's what happened. Amazon, and then a couple of days later I recovered, mostly, and I decided, okay, our audience needs to get to know us. They need to know that, that if they're investing in us, that, that we're real people. And so I have I decided to try the Twitter. <laughs> Which you have been I like anti calling it the Twitter. You've been an anti Twitter. Right? I have I mm -hmm. have been an anti Twitter. So um, look forward to a Twitter centered faux show in the future because uh, I'm rocking it. Yeah, I think Twitter went through that phase in my audience where uh, like everybody in was like, your audience. well, in the Linux Action Show, <laughs> no, audience, I know, I know. is what I'm thinking. Yeah, is yeah. Um, like Twitter was like a bad word. <laughs> and then it really was. Like, I was almost embarrassed to mention that I had a Twitter account on the show. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, yeah. It really. The, when it first launched. But yeah. now it's like it's like this resource. Like, well, I've, I've it... gotten interviews on Twitter. I've been flowing down to game development oh, companies dude, because of Twitter. Like, I had Juniper Broadcasting fixed on the Linux Journal official website of, of the, you know, evangelist Because thing. of Twitter. Because I, I contacted the uh, the guy that wrote it on Twitter and said, "Hey, can we you find fix out that? about SteamOS's release on Twitter." I mean, it's become now. Yeah. It's much more well, of like an internet Twitter nervous system. Twitter pioneer hashtags and N at. Well, Twitter didn't. No? The users of Twitter did. Or, I mean, or, and then Twitter it was adopted on them. Twitter yeah. that hashtags were pioneered, and yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, anyway, so social networks. Check the show notes. Go to jupiterbroadcasting.com. Also, find the show. bit.ly slash Jupiter Signal oh, okay. if you want to sign up for the newsletter. Yep. That'd be a good place to do it. Yep. And uh, we, we're not oh. sure when the next faux show, yes. our batch of faux shows will be Whoa. live, 
But there we go, number three. <laughs> Bit dot, or sorry, jupiterbroadcasting.com slash calendar. We'll just post it up there when we know. Yeah. Or the chat room topic, too, if you just want to log into our IRC. Yes, indeed, Rooney. All oh, right, it's Andrews. not in there right now. Friday okay. the 13th, all done. Yes. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Drag it out. <laughs> Don't forget, you can catch recent episodes of The Faux Show on jupiterbroadcasting.com slash faux show. Also, get them on demand in the iTunes store. Search for Faux Show. <laughs>